so it's all set up nice it looks really good um, I'm really pleased with the pitch considering it's so hard to get any kind of flat ground around here um, now that the tent's up it probably gives some context to the landscape around you you can see all these ridges all these um, little depressions in the ground um, especially when you go low you know it's very very up and down you'd struggle to get um, you know a, a one man bivy in a lot of these places but I found this little spot here um, spent a good half an hour collecting moss big chunks of moss and making the ground as flat as I can so it seems to be okay I've got the mat in there now I've had a little lie down in it still feels nice and flat it's never going to be as good as your bed um, but let's see what we've got so inside I've got a foam mat um, which I, I like just to have um, as a little base and then on top of that I'll have this Cedar Summit Heather XT insulated mat um, it's a really good 10 centimeter deep mat I love that I've got um, a bivy if I need it I can put um, everything inside of that the mat um, the insulated mat um, my sleeping bag is the Rabbitsense 700. Um, it's supposed to be really cold, looking at the BBC forecast. It's supposed to feel like it's minus four at night and feel like it's about minus one now, but it really doesn't. I know I've been up and down, exerting myself, setting everything up and and, and this and that, and I'm probably a bit warm from it, but um, yeah, really um, didn't expect it to feel that cold. But I have got that, it's a warm bag, and then... I've got my clothes inside of that other stuff sack. So I've got a down jacket. Um, I've got another fleece, um, like a, a base layer fleece to go over this base layer that I'm wearing. Um, some merino base layer um, trousers. Um, what have I got over here? Just a, a cheap pillow, waterproof coat. I've got my alpine hat that I had on, some earplugs um, for nighttime bottle of coke fancy a bit of that so the storage is good in here i've got storage either side i've got some some milk for when i make a cup of tea i've got some some string tied up there that i could use to make a kind of um, washing line to go above me on the inner of the tent um, if i need to dry anything but i don't think i will um cereal bar a couple of spoons i've got my map and compass i can hear a helicopter i'm a bit paranoid about helicopters since um one flew right over me and my friend when we were wild camping a while ago in Manifold Valley. It literally hovered straight over us, stayed, looked at us, and then did one. And it was a police helicopter as well, um, so we were a little bit freaked out by that. Uh, nothing to worry about though, that's not for us. Um, so in the porch, the porch, I thought the porch was going to be a bit bigger than it is now, or well, than it is actually. Um, I've got it rolled down to here, decent entrance here. You can actually take the porch to the second point here. Um, you can see I've got my rucksack stowed away nicely. A um, couple of bottles of water. I've got this massive tin of gas, which may be a bit of overkill for my kind of trips, but it's the only one I had. I've got a little um, um, stove that fits on top of it, cheap stove, mess tin, um, some like hygiene products in there, um, tissue, wet wipes, lighter for the stove. Uh, I've got a kettle in here as well if I want to drink. A little Stolt Emma's tin mug. This little tin mug with bees on. Um, some stag chilli as well for later. I've ate a lot before I've come out as well um, to keep the calories in. Um, I've got this um, carbon monoxide alarm detector, which is important to have you shouldn't really do anything should you any cooking or anything inside a tent um i have i've never had a problem um but that's not to say it's safe and what i do like to do what i've done in bigger tents before is use this adapter um this is a, an actual like a heating element that sits on top of your stove it gets red hot starts radiating uh, the heat um, you can cook on top of it slowly um, so you put your stove on the gas obviously and then put that on top I'd probably feel a bit happy with this if it was on a um, stove 
um, that sat on the ground and was then linked, you know, by you know a, a gas tube to the um, to the gas cylinder. Um, I'm just a bit paranoid that it can get so hot and maybe it could do something to that. Um, but I just want to see what it's like today. I'm just going to use it sensibly. I'm going to have it on a low heat. I'm just going to see if it's actually viable to use. Maybe to bring the gas closer to here, make sure everything's clear. Um, have it on. Obviously, it can't be too close to here, so it can't be too far away because it's right on top of the fly there. So it's got to be quite close to the inner. I just want to see what it's like. Again, um, I've got the carbon monoxide alarm, so it should be fine. You've got lots of ventilation coming under here. There's ventilation all around this tent because it's not a three season tent, uh, a four season tent, it's a three. Um, so it should be fine. I just want to see if I can get toasty warm and if I could use it for colder camping. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got my special knife. Very, um, It's a very good knife that uh, Emma bought for me. F1 Pro. I forget the name of the manufacturer. I think it's, it's it was an expensive knife. I should know what it's called. I'll have to have a look at it and, and tell you. Um, I think it's a Swedish knife. It's you know very expensive, spoilt uh, on me really. Um, it's that it's that good. I don't like to use it really because um, I'm a bit shit with a knife. Um, but it's nice to have as well. And then I've been reading this. I want to want to improve my um, navigation skills which won't be hard because they're pretty much zero um sometimes i can come out of a toilet in a building that i'm not i haven't been in before and not know which way to turn to to get back to where i came from um it's something that's dogs me through throughout my life really so I'm, I'm gonna read that in my own time have some um nice reading time in here yeah it's a good tent got some gear sp um, loft at the top Got some snacks up there, some crisps, some chocolate, pot noodle, and I've got these attachment points which I could rig um, the string that I have, and if I needed to, if it was absolutely pissing it down with rain, you know, I could hang some of my clothing right at the top, fire um, this heating system up, um, and see what it does for me. So, yeah, really good.